Hey guys, welcome to PlayStation Now here, and this is my review of Little Big Planet 2. So Little Big Planet 1 was such a great game. Everything about it was good, there were some flaws, but you know, the pros definitely outweighed the cons. Um, not too long ago, Little Big Planet 2 came out. Um, this game is much like Little Big Planet 1, but, um, but better actually. It has um, a lot more stuff that I'm going to get into in this video. Um, the graphics are great, the sound is great, um, and yeah, so let's get into it. The story mode in Little Big Planet 2 is definitely better than Little Big Planet 1. Um, I found Little Big Planet 1 to be a little bit confusing, um, but Little Big Planet 2, um, it, it follows generally a storyline like pretty much every game ever made. Um, this one actually has a reason to play. Um, what the story pretty much is, this is this giant vacuum, um, the Negativitron I think, it's sucking up everything in Little Big Planet, and um, you, Sackboy, um, joined an alliance, and you and the alliance are going around and trying to defeat this giant dark vacuum to save Little Big Planet. It's much more intuitive than Little Big Planet 1 in the sense that you have a lot more things to do. They put uh, little mini games in there, like in one level you're walking through an arcade and you actually get to play some of the arcade games. So it's just really fun and um, it's a lot more challenging at some spots than, um, than some person would imagine. Um, in Little Big Planet 2 they kind of stepped away from the little kids type um, game. Even though there is some aspects of a children's game, it's definitely more dark than some people would like it. But, um, you know, that's what the market is. It um, calls for games that are going to keep you on the edge of your seat. And whether this game does it is, um, you know, it's debatable. But it still has a lot more of the dark um, game characteristics than Little Big Planet 1. Now, the online um, is pretty much the same thing that we've seen in Little Big Planet 1, but it has got in a makeover. Um, you, the 3 million levels that have been uploaded before this game was released are still there. Um, and they're, all those levels have been gotten a makeover pretty much in the sense that they're all built for Little Big Planet 2. Which means you can use the Little Big Planet 2 game mechanics in the um, already available levels. Which is really cool and um, really good for Media Molecule to do considering that... If this game came out and there were no online levels, that would definitely um, put a damper on the cost of $60 for this game. But considering the game comes stock with 3 million plus levels, then that's pretty much selling itself to most people who want to buy this game. I find myself creating levels more and more often because um, creating levels in Little Big Planet 2 is a lot more easier and a lot more funner than it was in Little Big Planet 1. There's a lot more functionality that allows you to create um, a much better level. The lighting is great, the music is great, the scenery is great, um, and it's not as clunky as it was. Uh, just a lot of things got um, their fix, and Media Molecules said that they're going to be updating this game a lot, so they're going to keep it fresh, and they're going to keep it new to the buyers that haven't got this game yet. So, you know, as long as they're not forgetting about the game, like putting it out on the market and just saying, alright, it's there, play with what you got. No, Media Molecule is stepping up to the plate and giving us everything we want and more. The costumes in this game are actually a lot more better than what they were. Um, you have movable skins, and by movable skins, I mean skins that change. Like, um, I have a disco skin on where I just change colors pretty rapidly, like this thing behind me. Um, it's actually pretty cool, and um, they got you a lot more costumes, and you can change costumes throughout the game. And it's just, it's just well designed, and the costumes make the game a thousand times better. Now, is this game worth 60 bucks? I would say yes. I mean, it comes with a PlayStation Move game called, like, Sackboy's Prehistoric Moves. And, um, it is two players only, so you can't play it by yourself. One person needs to control, um, Sackboy with, um, the, uh, regular controller. And another person needs to control the little crosshair on the screen with, um, the PlayStation Move. So, if you don't have any friends and you don't have any siblings and you're just a loner, um, then you're pretty much out of luck for this PlayStation Move game, but it's still another feature to add um, to Little Blue Planet 2. Plus, it's free. So yes, this game is worth 60 bucks. Yes, you're going to spend countless hours playing it. And um, overall, it's just a really fun game, and I give it two thumbs up. Well, that's about it. I'm Eric from PlayStation Now, and I'll see you later.